In today's unboxing, I continue to take a look at the terrain additions for Warhammer 40k and that while this can be used in any of their 40k games, uh, this continues with the original Kill Team starter set and adding additional features to the terrain within that, specifically these two giant statues right here. This one is the Sector Imperialis Basilicanum. Let's go ahead and flip you over and take a look at the back of the box. And again, now it gives you kind of a rear view of this one. Um, it does give you their figure so you can see for scale um, how it lines up with the figures. I still dislike when they do this kind of stuff and they show items that are not in the box on the box. I understand why they're doing it, how they're trying to show scale here. I'm, I'm just not a fan personally. What I am a fan of, however, is them adding their color schemes to the box. Um, so that way you can know what they used, uh, especially for their bases and everything, to create this, this color. Um, so you know if you're getting this set uh, and you want to try to replicate this, these are the colors uh, from Citadel that you would uh, uh, be needing to purchase as well. So that's always very useful. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in the box. And first up, we have the instruction manual for it, of course, with the recommended tools. Most of this we have already seen before, um, because if you put in together any of the other terrain for this set, uh, you have an idea of, you know, what these are um, and how they fit together. And then, of course, there supports how that all is done. Of course, I will show all of this on the sprue once we get to it. And all the different caps that you can use and that you would need. And again here, making sure you can see, you know, use it the, the right, right direction because it can be a little tricky there. And then the new stuff, the statues for the front and how they were. And you can actually see they do attach to the building itself. So that is very cool. Let's go ahead move that over there so we can take a look at the first statue sprue. He is very cool. And I love how each one is different. So you don't have identical figures on either side. And then the rear. Full thing. And it looks like these statues, they got bits and bobs within them. So they must have been used for something more than just ornate decoration. So that's a nice, cool little picture. And then finally, we have the bases for them. So these are the three new sprue within this set. And then there's the parts to connect it to the building. You can see the one solid bit. That's just so there they are. The reason to get this set. And now, oh, all of that. Just additional sprue additional walls and i might have to verify that one looks different to me well you take a look at that because i know there are different pillars 
uh, or entryways. This one looks different to me. So maybe this is a new sprue as well. And then you have just your normal columns. Just in case, I'll let you take a closer look at him. Because he definitely looks different to me. And then half columns. Very cool. And then the full walls. And these you've probably seen before in their other sets, but just in case, this is your. First look, let's go ahead and do a close-up of these. Oh, just in case you're wondering, the, these little brackets kind of holding things together, These you keep seeing these fall off, that's no big deal. Let's, and then another one, there goes some more. And then, some of the platforms. And of course, even these little guys here that you see keep falling off that I just talked about, these are still very useful. You can take all of these little bits that keep falling off, all of the extra sprue, even this kind of stuff. You don't want to get rid of this. This is great for, especially inside of vehicles, for using to, for support for inside of vehicles. But also you take these and with the plastic cement um, from Tamiya, as you're getting near the bottom of your barrel, um, so you don't have much, don't throw those away. Those are great. Leave just that little bit in there and start adding these chunks of sprue. Start cutting up little chunks of sprue and start adding that and mixing it around. Um, and then you have what a lot of people online will refer to as sprue goo. And that is great for gap filling, um, especially for inside of stuff, um, for inside of your vehicles or inside of these pillars or whatever, where you're not going to see it as much. Um, or, or, but you do want to add uh, a good strong bond uh, because that kind of sprue goo will really bond to the, the plastic you have here and really help create one solid piece. So all of this kind of stuff, these little bits that are falling off, keep those and save them for that kind of stuff. And then there is the full one for this one while I was rambling on. And then here we can see the connector bits. We can see two of those here. And again, those go into these little grooves, these little notches here go into the grooves to add support for those. Very cool. But that is the new Basilica. Or Basilicanum. Uh, at my last trip to my local Games Workshop sh store, they still had this guy in stock. So I do know you can still get it. I love these kits. Um, love these statues. I think they add a ton um, of, you know, for terrain. These buildings are absolutely fantastic. Um they they look great they play well they have you can have multiple layers levels that you can do with them i love this train set uh if you have the chance i highly recommend them um go out get them uh, especially if you have the original kill team set or just this one uh, or some of the other other ones you can very easily make um one of that old 
uh, kill team set uh, because you can just add in, you know, these the these terrain sets and kind of you know build a you know an impromptu version yourself. Um, but I hope this helped you to be able to see what was in the box, um, what the sprues looked like, you know, what everything you know looked like and, and had going on for it. Um, so if you were on the fence on getting this one, uh, I hope it helped you to determine uh, one way or the other if this would be something you might be interested in. And until next time, guys, see ya.